Welcome back to Breast of Campus. Regarding a big dilemma in Breast of Practice regarding doing hit bodidut. There is this term of doing what's called an hour of hit bodidut, shait bodidut. And in Breast Live, you have about different views about how it should be. There are some who hold that it has to be exactly at least 60 minutes at least, and you have to kill yourself to do the hour hit bodidut, which makes it sound like that anything less than an hour, 60 minutes of Yidbodidut, of talking to Hashem, is not counted. It's not, it's like, for example, in Rabbi Nachman's Tikkun Aklali, the 10 Psalms that he registered as being known as the general remedy. You say one chapter, you're saying Psalms. You say two chapters, you're saying two chapters of Psalms. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Only once you say the full 10 chapters is it called a general remedy. So you have people of that attitude that it's fine and dandy that you're talking to Hashem and everything, but unless you do 60 minutes every day, so it's not considered valid hidbodidut. And there's the other camp in Breslev that maintains if you start a person off with a difficulty of one hour hidbodidut and he has to struggle to maintain it, there will come a time where he, he'll even drop that hour hidbodidut and be left with nothing at all. Rather, it's best and suggested to start off to doing as much as bodidut and talking to Hashem as you can and quoting the Rav Yaakov Meir Shechter who says it very beautifully he says let the bodidut build up the hour and not the hour build up the bodidut in other words talking to Hashem connecting to Hashem is something that you have to develop and if you start already jumping from a high level and killing yourself for a devotion which is very hard for you, it'll reach a point where you'll drop it altogether because it's hardened initially and you're killing yourself to maintain it. So it'll be very rigid and reach a point where even that, God forbid, you can drop if you're not holding at the level. Whereas uh, getting a person to be progressive and advancing step by step, where eventually he can grasp and maintain whatever he Buddha duty is doing and whatever talking to Hashem is doing until he does reach eventually an hour, then he can keep it. It's his. It's in his pocket. I recall hearing from Rav Michal Dorfman that he told me the following. He said that the idea of doing an hour of Hidbodidut is similar to the halacha regarding salting meat. In salting meat, the halacha requires that you keep the meat after, you know, taking apart the animal, after it's being ritually slaughtered, you have to keep it in salt for at least an hour, for about an hour. Okay? It's supposed to be for an hour. Now, there's a halachic permission, if now time is very short, then you can do also what's called 18 minutes. And Rav Michal told me that he had once mentioned to the breast of elders and had found favor in their eyes what he said. That Rabbi Nachman said, he mentioned an hour he'd bodidut, to do an hour he'd bodidut. But if now, it's paralleling the hour of salting the meat, because when you're talking to Hashem, you're actually salting yourself. You're now cleansing and purifying yourself with the words that you're talking to Hashem. But now, if you can't do the hour, 18 minutes is also a value. It's also something special. So this again is the em- emphasis. Let the Hidbodidut come. Let it to be developed until you can reach a level where you have that hour Hidbodidut and it won't be a crazy devotion above your true level. Rather, it be something that you developed and built and made that connection. If you look throughout Rav Nossin's writings, and we see Rav Nosen as the one who understood best Rabbi Nachman, the main thing he always mentions in his letters or in his discourses in the Kutei Alachot or in the prayers that he composed on the Kutei Tfilot is he, when talking about the idea of talking to Hashem, the, the, the main thrust is the consistency. That for, uh, my goal is for sure to get to at least an hour he but more important than that right now in my life is to have everyday consistency that no day goes by without setting that time to talk to Hashem and we'll sum up with what Rav Avram and Rav Nachman he said he said Rav Avram Rav Nachman a very wise and special breast of uh, elder of the previous generations that for every day that a person does not do Hidbodidut the evil one learns a chapter of the book uh, of philosophy with that person as if to say if you don't have the outlet of Hidbodidut in your day so then Yitzhar will play games with your philosophical idea, uh, way of thinking and get you trapped in all types of diversions and convolutions and distortions. 
So what's important for a person is to do whatever they can, but be consistent.